America's neat, polite neighbor to the north. Canada is really, really organized and concerned about the environment. Canada never really wins any wars, but they are really good at peacekeeping. There are lots of great things about Canada. Anime is not one of them. When I think bulk wood pulp, I think Canada. But I think anime, not so much. This is the core problem with Dragon Booster, an anime series made in our beaver-loving neighbor to the north. So we're doing it. We're reviewing yet another anime game. You can start emailing us as soon as the review starts. Here's Dragon Booster. Throughout the ages, European and Asian folklore have told many tales about the dragon, a mythical serpent so ferocious so amazing, it's feared and revered by almost every culture on the planet. So what happens when this legendary creature decides to try its claws at the bourbon-soaked sport of horseback racing? A game so bad, it's a legend itself. Release the dragon! Based on an unpopular Saturday morning cartoon series about dragonback racing, Dragon Booster for the Nintendo DS may sound like it's about a dragon vaccination. But it still features sick rides, yo! That's because you can pimp out your dragon with bumpers, spoilers, and rims. But I think fixing up dragons belongs to one of our other shows? Next on Dragon Fury, Spyro gets some spinners, yo! Followed by 10 repeats of Y Play. Having show promos cover up this review is more aesthetically pleasing than looking at the game. Ooh, next generation is on. Set phasers to entertain. The graphics in this game are an eyesore. For a while, I thought we were riding llamas. I know dragons are supposed to be hideous and all, but these creatures don't resemble anything close to a dragon. They don't fly, breathe fire, or have Chinese people for feet. The teen jockeys that ride these beasts are even more pathetic, flinging their bodies at everything they encounter. It's like spring break with large reptiles replacing Havasu. Fling your body to tackle your opponents. Fling your body to grab items. Fling your body to take out obstacles. As bizarre and complex as that sounds, the controls for this game are even more convoluted. The D-pad is used to steer your pathetic prehistoric llama. The buttons are used to fire your faulty weapons. And the stylus is used to aimlessly jump and do your nonsensical flinging moves. Using the control pad and buttons at the same time is normal. But how are you supposed to use the stylus without a free hand? Seriously, who has three hands? Do you have to be a mythical creature to play this game? What makes it even worse is that you can't stop. The stupid dragon just moves forward, forcing you to run into obstacles and fall into gaps. It's sad when the game's AI can't even get through the course. Mm, it's frustrating. Reading our message boards is more mentally captivating than this game. With lousy graphics, terrible gameplay, and a horrible concept, Dragon Booster for the Nintendo DS gets a 1 out of 5. It's probably less deserving. Oh, anime games, will you ever not fail us? Hey, you fanboys blind to the failings of your beloved series. Wake up! If you keep buying the games just because you love the cartoons, they'll keep making crappy games. We don't mind, you know, we like writing a scathing review now and again. But if you want decent games, you're going to have to demand more. More!